if you look down in uh, onto a planarian using this voltage sensitive die, you see a pattern. The voltage pattern, we've sort of learned to decode it. We can tell when it says build one head versus two. The basic question was, hey, how do you know uh, how many heads you should have as a planarian? Yes. How would you know, right? The assumption is, well, what else would it be? It's a, you know, it's a genetically determined. It's one. What else would it be? Well, uh, so, so what happens, so, so what happens is there's a, um, uh, there's a, uh, there's a single, uh, there's a, there's an electrical gradient that normally specifies one head, one tail. Well, we use some ion channel drugs and we, we change that to say two heads and no genetic changes. So just a brief, uh, what, 48 hour physiological stimulus. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, that that animal will then, if you injure it, will then make two-headed animals. Now, a couple of interesting things. That two-headed pattern is read out from a one-headed host. In other words, it's mm -hmm. not a pattern of what you have now. It doesn't reflect your current anatomy. It's a it's a counterfactual uh, a pet memory. It's a representation of what you will do if you get injured in the future. So it's like a it's like an early version of of this kind of mental time travel that brains are very good at, right? Imagining things that aren't true right now. 